In this episode, I'm going to show you some super simple ways to bring the power of GPT-4 straight into your MetaTrader 5 Expert Advisor development environment. You definitely got to check this out. If you've ever tried to build an Expert Advisor using MetaTrader 5's built-in code editor, you know that it's an absolute nightmare. It is so hard to use and there's very, very little features that help you build an effective trading bot. As a result, your development time becomes way, way longer and way harder than it needs to be. Well, in this episode, I've got a solution for you. I'm going to show you how to bring one of the world's most advanced code editing and code assistants called Copilot straight into your development environment. It's really, really easy to set up and honestly, by the time you finish this tutorial, you'll be amazed at how much easier it is to develop your own expert advisors. GitHub Copilot is one of the most exciting things to come out of the recent AI craze. I love GitHub Copilot and it brings the power of GPT-4 straight into your coding environment. Go ahead and sign up for it using the link that I've got in the description and make sure you sign up for the free trial if you're looking for something that's free. The first thing you need to do is to download Visual Studio Code onto your computer. Visual Studio Code is a really, really powerful code editor and it's completely free. You can check out the open source code at visualstudio.com and you can download it from the link that I've chucked in the description. It's super easy to use and honestly, you can use it for almost any language that you can think of, even MQL5. Once you've installed it according to your preferences, we're gonna head into installing some of the powerful tools that make this work with your MetaTrader 5. We're going to start by installing a really powerful extension known as MQL Tools. Now, extensions you can see in the sidebar of your Visual Studio Code Editor, and you can search for the extension that you want in the search bar there. You can see how I'm searching for MQL Tools. MQL Tools is really, in its simplest way, a way of bringing all of the good parts of the MetaTrader 5 Code Editor, along with all of the cool parts that come with having a modern development environment. So go ahead and add that now. Once you've got your MQL Tools, what you want to do is head to this little gear icon which comes up with a little pop-up called Manage and go into your extension settings. Now in here you'll see a bunch of settings come up. Most of them are pretty self-explanatory and you're welcome to go through and set them up the way that you'd like them. But the key ones that we want to make sure we get right are these ones here for the Meta Editor 5 directory here and if you're using MetaTrader 4, you want to do it there as well. Now, to get this particular Meta Editor is pretty straightforward. First, you need to find out where your MetaTrader 5 is installed. I'm using a version from IC Markets, which means that I can follow it from C, Program Files, IC Markets, and then get it. Or if you're using the standard one, you can go to that file directory as well. The key thing is you really want to end up with this Meta Editor 64exe in the right location. If you get that wrong, it's a little bit of a disaster. Now, the way that MQL Tools works, for whatever reason, I don't really know, is that you need to make sure that it has MQL5 as the place where you open up the folder. If you don't, it doesn't recognize any of the files that are in there. But it's in a different location from where you might have expected it to be. So to do that, you need to go to this one similar to what you'll have on your file system, which is this app data, roaming, meta quotes, terminal, and then this long kind of string of numbers followed by MQL5. Now, if you're using MetaTrader 5, you need to open up the folder that has MQL5. Once you've done that, you need to update your VS Code. And this is where it gets a little bit complicated. I definitely recommend that you head to the link in the description, which will take you to a GIST, which outlines all of the changes that you need to make to it. It's really easy to copy and paste it and change a couple of things. Here's what you need to do. So you need to create a folder inside of that file structure you've got called .vscode. And in there, you need to create settings.json. Now you can see here that these settings are pretty much here. And there's a couple of things that you'll need to make sure are correct. This one here, you need to make sure it's this, um, local to your one. And this one here is, needs to be the same place as the setting that you set before. Now, when you open this, it should have this already. So hopefully you don't need to change that. And once that's once you open it, all you need to do is copy and paste this code and this code here. You should be good to go from there. 
The next thing that we want to do is probably the most exciting and this is where we bring the power of artificial intelligence straight into your trading environment. We're going to be adding two extensions. The first one is going to be GitHub Copilot and the second one will be GitHub Copilot Chat. To do this, go back to your extensions and you can search here for Copilot and Copilot Chat and install both of those. Previously in this episode, I showed you how to sign up to it. So once you've signed up to it, all you need to do is add these extensions and it'll be good to go. Here's some of the cool things you can do with Copilot Chat here. We'll see what it comes out with. Hopefully you enjoy and don't forget to check out my next episode where I start to show you how to build your trading bot.